Hey everyone, Masala Sims here. Have you ever opened up casts and found that perfect jacket, but then you couldn't find matching pants? So you were like, okay, I don't want my sim to go out there looking like a clown. So for us non-CC creators at least, that's kind of the end of the line for any of those cast pieces, right? Actually, not anymore. I'm gonna show you a super basic way to recolor any cast item. You don't need Photoshop or any fancy editing skills. The software that we're gonna be using is free and it's pretty user-friendly. So just a quick disclaimer, if you are recoloring someone else's custom content, do not re-upload that content until you check the creator's terms of use, or TOU. Most creators don't allow re-uploading of a mesh, and some don't want people to re-upload recolors of their creations either. So as a general rule of thumb, keep your recolors for personal use and don't re-upload them anywhere. So let's start by downloading the two pieces of software we're going to need, Sims 4 Studio and GIMP. The links for the downloads are in the description box below. Just follow the instructions on the page and you'll have those two softwares downloaded. So once those two pieces of software are downloaded, let's open up Sims 4 Studio. If you're editing a piece of CC, click on the My Projects button and then you can browse to the .package file for that piece of CC. If you're editing an EA piece, then make sure that your Create Cast Standalone button is selected, and then click the Cast button. It'll bring you to this page where you can see all of the in-game content that you have, and you can just go through and select whatever piece you're trying to edit. You can also use these different selections to filter down and find exactly what you're looking for a little bit easier. Once you've selected a piece, click next and then type a name for your package file. That piece will then open up on this slender man looking mannequin. For my example, I'm actually gonna open up two pieces because I want to grab the color from this jacket and then put it onto a nice pair of slacks. First, let's open up the texture files. So I know I'm trying to match the color of the gray jacket. So I'm gonna go to the gray jacket first and I'm going to go to export under the texture file. Enter in any name for this texture file. I'm just gonna call it jacket gray and save it wherever you want. I'm also gonna go in and save a texture file for my slacks. So I'll do the same thing, go to export under texture, and I'm gonna call this slacks gray dine out. Now open up finder or file explorer and right click on the texture file and then click open with GIMP. GIMP will load up. So I'm gonna do that for both of my texture files. So both the slacks and the jacket. Your texture file is the one that has the .png. The .package file is the thing that's actually gonna go in your mods folder. So first, I want to grab the color of the jacket so that I can then recolor the slacks with that color. So the first thing I'll do is grab the eyedropper tool and go into a part of the jacket that looks like it's not really highlight and not really shadow either. So that will give you kind of the best color match. So I'm gonna go into maybe this color right here. Once you see the color appear in the swatch area, click on the swatch and then copy this HTML notation code. So I'm just using Command C on Windows, that would be Control C. And then you can hit OK. Then I'm gonna go into my Slacks texture, go to Colors, Colorize, and then click on this color bar. So if you don't have an HTML code, you can kind of just play around with these sliders to find the perfect color. 
Because I have a code, I'm gonna go into HTML notation and paste that code that I got from my jacket. You'll notice that perhaps the pants are looking a little bit darker than the jacket. If this happens, that means that the color that you've selected for your slacks is too dark. So if that happens, no worries, just go back into Sims 4 Studio and then you can select a different color. I'm going to choose a lighter pair of pants and do the same thing. So I'm just going to save this over that slacks file. So now I have a lighter color and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to first go into GIMP, close out this file and discard changes. And then I'm going to open up Sims 4 Studio again and export the texture file and replace. Now I'll open this again with GIMP. Now we're going to try the recolor again. So again, we can go into here, select the HTML notation and copy, and then click colors, colorize, click the color bar and paste in the HTML notation. Now you're gonna see that your recolor has essentially worked. So now you have matching jacket and matching pants. So once you have the color of your new file to your satisfaction, just hit file and overwrite whatever your file name is. Next, go back into your Sims 4 Studio, click add swatch if you don't want to overwrite the original color that was there. Once you have a new swatch, click import, then click on the texture file that you just created and click open. Now you should see that your slender man slash slender woman is wearing your newly recolored piece. You can change the color of your swatch so that it's easy to find when you're actually in cast. So to do that, go into the swatch thumbnail and click on it. And then you can kind of just use your computer's color selector to choose an appropriate color. So I'm going to choose this silvery looking color. Close out. And once you're happy with how everything looks, just hit save. Don't forget to pull this package file into your mods folder in your Sims 4 game. And that's it. I am by no means a CC creator. I'm just a poor soul who is fed up of having Sims with mismatched outfits. So please don't come at me. I truly don't know anything about graphics design. <laughs> and remember, don't re-upload because that is stealing and we don't want to be thieves. These content creators work really hard to make all of this custom content, so please don't re-upload unless they say that you can. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment. I really appreciate it and have fun with this newfound power.